Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on how to set up multiple charts within Think or Swim. Uh, currently, I'm in my virtual trading account with Think or Swim. We're doing a Think or Swim kind of a video or web series, I guess you'd say, and really getting our followers uh, set up with a Think or Swim platform and a virtual trading account. Uh, we are just really big proponents of protecting people's brokerage accounts and not uh, seeing them lose their money. So Think or Swim, it is a complicated um, uh, setup. However, they have a really great virtual account setup that you're able to practice and get familiar with. And uh, we like to tell our followers really just to kind of you know, get yourself set up with Thinkorswim, get comfortable really with any platform that you're using first. Even if you don't use Thinkorswim, get a platform that offers a virtual trading account where you could practice making a couple hundred trades, uh, you know, over a few months <clears throat> and getting really comfortable with trading because, you know, there's so many emotions that get involved with trading. And if you're not completely comfortable with the platform you're trading with, um, it could be uh, a very sticky situation that's easy to lose. Um, to lose money really quickly. So with Thinkorswim, um, I'm going to show you in this video how to set up multiple charts. If you're not really familiar, again, with Thinkorswim, uh, follow us on YouTube or actually subscribe to our YouTube channel and then uh, follow our playlist uh, under Thinkorswim. You'll see a bunch of videos there, tutorials on really how to get comfortable with Thinkorswim. So the reason why you'd like to have or the reason why I like to have or we like to have multiple charts set up, again, it's just all your preference as a trader. Uh, we are very kind of short-term traders. We're day traders, swing traders, we, because we don't like to necessarily let our mar um, money just sit in the market because there's so many just, you know, there's so much volatility that happens in the markets. Again, it's not that our way is necessarily the right way or the wrong way. It's just our preference. Um, so by because we are short-term traders, we like to have multiple charts set up so we can see different time frames. So I'm going to show you how to get that set up with Think or Swim. So right now I'm just looking at one chart set up. It's for the one minute. Um, you know, if you look right up here, this is where you could do the drop downs for the time frames. If I want to look at five minute here, um, I just have some random stock pulled up. Let me just pull up Apple. Since everybody happens, or app, everyone knows who Apple is. <clears throat> so, oh, a AP, I always do that. All right, so Apple, here you go. Here's a five minute, five day setup. Um, you know, I could go to the daily setup, looking at what the daily looks like over the past year. So that's a, all right, so it looks a little bit cleaner here. So I got my moving averages, my volume, my RSI, MACD. Again, this video is not to go over all of those things. Uh, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, we have a whole bunch of stuff and playlists that teach you all that stuff. But so now right here, I'm looking at one chart for Apple on the daily. So now let's say I want to go and I want to look up the five minute chart along with the daily. Well, what you'd want to do is you want to come up here right where you see this rectangle here and you click right to the right of it. Actually, let me try clicking right on it. Okay, yeah, I can click right on it. You'll see a whole bunch of different boxes. So I can have multiple screens set up here. Um, I'll show you that. After. I'll, I'll, I'll put in a bunch just randomly afterwards. Just let me add, what the heck, I'll just do it right now just to show you. So look at that. I can have a whole bunch of screens set up. So now you're going to like, how the heck do I get all of those linked up over here. That's crazy. Well, I'll show you how to do it. So let's just start off with two. So right here, I'm just going to, again, click on this box, click on two, and now I have two set up. But now you might say to yourself, well, wait a second. Why is this chart not showing over here? That's kind of annoying. Well, I thought that too. Uh, again, the Thinkorswim platform is extremely annoying when you don't know how to how to use it at first. And like I said, I can't tell you how many uh, times I called Think or uh, TD Ameritrade's customer service uh, to just get what I would think to be simple answers. Um, and they are, but again, it just takes time to get familiar with uh, the platform. But TD Ameritrade's customer service is phenomenal. So if you do call them, they are more than willing to help you out. So this is how you link the charts. So now I would go up here and see this link here. If you look over here, there's a link, there's colors over on this side here. Um, if I click on the color, this is basically, this enables me to have multiple screens set up or being multiple, like I could be on my home computer, 
um, and then have my couple laptops set up. And this differentiates between the different computers. So let me just click on red for right now. Well, if I click on red over there and then I come over here and click on yellow, well, um, it's it's just a different setup. Why is, uh, oh, it's still showing. Let's do this. Let me click on the red right now. Hmm. I don't know why it didn't link up like that. Well, either way, it should be, basically, you want to have the two colors together. So basically, red with red. But a lot of people, basically, you're still looking at it and you're saying, but why are the charts still different? This is annoying. This has got like the default setup over here with um, Thinkorswim, and it doesn't have the nice chart that I set up over here. Well, that's where you would want to come up over here and click on Style. And, and you, if you want to know how to... Um, uh, set up the appearance of Thinkorswim to make it look like this. Watch our Thinkorswim appearance uh, video on our uh, YouTube playlist. Sh that shows you how to make it cleaner over here. So because I've already set up my appearance and saved them, I would come down here to load style and click there. So there you go. There you have it. I could uh, adjust the screen how I like it. And uh, there we go. Everything is uniformed up. Um, you know, and I can have my uh, watch list over here. So if you look at the nightly scans and stuff set up, I have a nightly scan. I have this linked uh, over here. So if I look at uh, it's it's market hours now, so I'm not really caring about my uh, nightly scan. But just to show you how this works, see how the links red, red and red over here. Now, if I double click on this, it'll pull up the chart. If I click down here, it'll pull up the chart. So it's all linked together. Now, if I take this and put it to yellow, it should not allow me to change the chart. So now if I double click, there you go. See that? doesn't work. So basically, I would just come over here, click on red. Now it's linked. There we go. So that's how it all works. Um, and so that's two screens. So now let's say I wanted to have three screens set up. I would click down over here right here. Now I have three screens set up. I want to make sure I link them with the same color. And then I would just go back down over here again. Load style. There you go. And now I have three screens. So now I have, I'm a little bit OCD, so I like my time frames in order. Um, so let's say I'm day trading this and I want to see what's going on. I have the one minute chart open. I have my three minute and I have my five minute and I'd be looking for patterns, seeing what's going on. I'd look at the moving averages, see how things are, um, you know, set up and kind of just give you more of a gauge of what's happening. I could also do this here. I could give myself the daily time frame and see what's happening. You know, overall, it's a downtrend. I can look at it and see if the trend's going to go up, if it's going to break. Uh, I'm also, or we are also big proponents or fans of the Ichimoku cloud, uh, which is another technical indicator. So sometimes I like to put on my um, charts the daily with the Ichimoku cloud. So if you're not familiar with Ichimoku cloud and how that works, just uh, follow our YouTube channel and look at our Ichimoku Ichimoku Cloud playlist. So I'll come down here and I'll load style for Ichimoku. <clears throat> so there you go. So sometimes again, I just, I love the Ichimoku Cloud for doing swing trading or long-term trading. So I can kind of see things overall a little bit more clearly sometimes that I maybe don't see with moving averages. Again, it's a matter of preference, not that one's right or wrong or better or worse than others. Some people just love moving averages. I, again, love with day trading. I love using the one minute, the three minute, the five minute, and then taking a glance over at the uh, Ichimoku on the daily and seeing what's happening. Um, but this is how I set my charts up. If this is foreign to you and you're not familiar how to do it, again, follow our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to our channel, and um, you know, watch our Think or Swim playlist and all the other videos that we have. So this is how it's set up. Again, if you want even more, you can come over here and you can have this many and just keep doing the same thing. Link, link, and then link, and then I could just go and change things up however I want. But I'm just going to go and I'll put it back up here, back to default. We'll just go back to the one screen again, and there you go. So that's how simple it is to use the platform once you're more comfortable. Again, there's lots of other stuff you can do over here, but this is a simulated trading account. And that's what's so cool about Thinkorswim is that you can use their platform and get really comfortable. This is exactly how 
their platform live works. So if you get familiar with it and you practice with it and you get comfortable with the system, then you'll be able to just be really comfortable trading and really save your brokerage account. And that's what a lot of people don't do is they just kind of hop in and try to make trades and lose money quickly because there's so much going on and it's easy to lose money. And if you look up here, there's so many, it's very confusing if you're not familiar with it. But over time, once you practice and get comfortable, you'll get more comfortable with it. So hopefully this video helped you. Uh, if you're not familiar with our Facebook trading community. We have a awesome uh, Facebook trading community called the Bullish Bears. Uh, if you're not a member yet, just uh, click on the link below or head over to bullishbears.com and come and join us. We have lots of fun on a daily basis helping each other out. Uh, again, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on our latest videos. Uh, check out our playlist on thinkorswim and technical analysis, pretty much everything that we do. We try to keep our members up to date and formed, and we really want to basically teach them how to become professional traders. And 